Hi there, and welcome to Section 7. In the previous section, we looked at continuous deployment within a team. In this section, we'll be making deployment fun while learning application deployment with Laravel. Deployment is often a long and monotonous task. If it's not done right, then it creates a huge amount of stress in your life. This section aims to taking the edge off of the stressful process by adding a little something extra. In this section, we're going to create a simple user interface using Laravel that can deploy our application. We plan to integrating it with Slack's API so we can be notified when the deployment process is over. We'll look into automating the deployment process with cron jobs, how to host our own website on a personal server, and then finally, we'll look at creating an artisan command to deploy our application through the terminal. This video is titled Create a Deployment Interface. In this video, we're going to build an interface around our deployment workflow using Laravel. We'll write a script that deploys our application within Laravel, and then we'll create a form that allows us to select our environment, and then click a button to execute our deployment process. When it's all said and done, we'll have a UI where we can select the desired environment and click a button to deploy. In this video, we'll need to create two routes. One is going to be the back end and handle the logic and the actual deployment. And the other will be the front end with the UI form that the user or you will interact with. So create a new Bluemix app and Laravel project or open an existing one. I so happen to have one that's already formatted for Bluemix. Go ahead and open up your routes.php file at app slash http slash routes.php. Create a route for our UI. We'll just call this deploy. Let's also go ahead and change the view to accept the deploy PHP view we'll be creating here in just a minute. Create another route that will be a placeholder for our backend. We can call this one deploy slash exec. Next, we need to write the section of our script that actually deploys our application. Now this can be done in more than one way. It probably makes sense to use one of Laravel's classes here and keep our code more modular. But for this example, we're going to keep everything within our routes.php file to keep it simple. So we're going to be using the deploy slash exec route we just created. To start off with, let's create a variable with an empty array. This is where we are going to store our list of shell commands. Next, we want to use the exec function where we'll pass in our list of shell commands and set the output and status to a variable. Since we'll be using the Cloud Foundry's command line interface tool to deploy our application, we can start off by defining the absolute path to our CF execution file. Now, if you remember in video 4.2 to deploy an application on Bluemix, we just execute CF push and give it the app name into the terminal, and we're good. With the PHP exec function, we can't use CF because we only have what comes standard to the terminal. So by defining this absolute path, we are theoretically temporarily installing the CF command line tool for our PHP application by referencing it here. Now let's go back to our commands array and fill it up with our shell commands. The first command we need to change our directory to our Laravel project directory. Next, since we're deploying the Bluemix, we need to log in and set our organization and space. We can do that with the CF login. Dash U is our username or email. Dash P is our password. Uh, dash O is our organization. And finally, dash S sets the space we want to log into. If you remember the .env file from previous videos, that's where I'm storing my password here. Now we want to deploy our application using CF push, and then the git environment variable. The git global variable is going to collect the environment we pass it from our form here in a second. I also have a manifest.yaml file that sets the memory, build pack, and app key for our application. Finally, let's log out of Bluemix to wrap everything up. The last step we need to do is join the array into a string separated by a semicolon. We need to do this because exec only accepts a string. We can add a little error handling in case something goes wrong we might want to know. So let's add a condition that checks if there is an error. If there is, it'll let us know. If not, we can output the results of our deployment process. So without the interactive UI, we could easily visit this URL straight up using localhost slash laravel dash UI slash public slash deploy slash exec, then a little question mark and env equals laravel dash UI. 
Just be aware that like executing this command in your terminal, it'll take a little while for this to deploy. The difference is that we don't get live feedback like we do in the terminal. Great job so far! Now we need to create our HTML form view. Go ahead and create a new file with an empty HTML template. Save that file under resources slash views and give it the name deploy.php so our deploy route can find it. Mark up a basic form with a method of get and an action of deploy slash exec. Next, add a button with the type submit. Finally, we just need to list out all of our environment options with a select dropdown. You just need to make sure the value matches the appropriate application name up on Bluemix. To test it out, just go to localhost slash laravel UI slash public slash deploy, and you should see the UI you built. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. Select the environment you would like to push to and click deploy. And wait for it to finish uploading. Like I said earlier, it'll take a while for it to deploy, and you won't see any live feedback, but when it's all done, it'll print the output logs for you.